guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I am back with another apartment build for you guys, or today we are furnishing an apartment. This is in, oh, what's it called, Spice Market, I think, in the Brooklyn kind of area. I can't really see what the address is, but it says something called Pipper House right now up in the left corner. You can see what uh, apartment I built this in. I think it's the one that Jita and... Ra, what was his name? I don't remember what her son's name is, but I think it's that one. They have a fairly big apartment considering they're just two sims, by the way. So I did try to... Okay, I actually started this apartment once with the color, like the floor plan was almost the same as the original floor plan and then I just kind of hated it because everything was just in the same room and I wasn't really feeling the open plan vibe at all for this kind of apartment. So I decided to start over and I like how this one turned out a lot better and I hope you guys like it too. So it has been suggested or requested quite a lot of times by now if I could do a roommate's apartment. So I thought it was about time that I sat down and did it and this one is for four different roommates and yeah I was really trying to make sure that I put in as many bedrooms in this floor plan as possible. I also included the floor plan for you guys because I know that a lot of you do prefer when I do them on cam so hopefully you guys appreciate this uh, or appreciate that this time around as well. I was originally going for a very kind of beige and blue and white with a little bit of green here and there as well kind of color scheme but I did end up changing some of the wood swatches to some darker ones because it got a little bit too pale for my liking and hopefully that's okay with you guys. I will say that the overall like the common areas of this apartment are very kind of toned down like I said earlier but then when you get to the bedrooms they all got their own little color scheme going on so there's one that's more I think it's like green yellow and blue and then there's one that's purple and green and then there's one that's red and yellow possibly with a little bit of orange as well and then the fourth one is green and yellow and I think blue as well but it's in a different kind of like a different kind of green uh, than the first one so they're very individualized if that's even a word <laughs> customized to the separate sims or the different sims living in this apartment and I had a lot of fun with this it was actually yeah it was it was a lot of fun I will say that all the four sims do work or their personalities their hobbies are kind of creative I would say I often end up giving my more creative sims a like when I do an artsy kind of apartment it always turns out to be boho or bohemian I don't know it's just kind of I feel like Bohemian Bohemian is such a creative interior style, like you can go crazy with patterns and paintings and tapestry and crazy wallpapers and, you know, yeah, different patterns just all around and I don't know why but that just screams creative to me so when I had to sit down and decide their personalities once I got to the bedrooms I decided to make them all very creative. So we have a musician living in here. I think we also have a writer and we have a photographer and then we have a painter. So do let me know if you want to see more roommates apartments and I will try to do the next one or the possible next one in a different style and then make the rooms for different kinds of sims, maybe with different hobbies or sims that work in a different kind of field, not the creative field. I just felt like once I got to the bedrooms, I just felt like they were all creative and I don't really... It's the bohemian thing like I explained before. I don't know why that is. I just feel like it's very, it's a very creative interior style in my opinion. So I feel like on a more realistic level that it would also make more sense if they were creative people because working as a musician, if you haven't had a breakthrough or, you know, a writer that hasn't had their breakthrough, like it's a, like creative jobs are often a little bit more risky and people need to break through before they start earning money. So it makes more sense that they would you know, share an apartment rather than, for example, a scientist and a businesswoman sharing an apartment together. I just feel like it makes more sense if they're creative because they always tend to struggle a little bit more, you know what I mean? So in that regard, or when it comes to that as well, I felt like it was a little more 
realistic to make them creative as well. And in here we are doing the living room. So I talked over the kitchen as you saw just before, but basically I decided to put the kitchen right where the entrance is. So when you walk into the apartment, you basically, you can see the kitchen right in front of you. So there are no windows in the kitchen, probably not the most realistic choice, but this apartment just has like, a big space in the middle with no windows whatsoever. I probably could have put in bathrooms there instead, but they do have, I don't know, some of the layouts for these apartments are just kind of strange, I'll admit to that. <laughs> but, so it makes it a little bit difficult to do floor plans for them, but I feel like this one turned out okay, but um, I definitely could have moved the kitchen to some other place, but that meant I would have probably had to uh, scratch one of the bedrooms instead. I feel like it's fine that it's here though, but not, not the most realistic choice um, in my opinion. I also gave them a bar because I figured they would probably, you know, like to have a drink now and then or something. And on the right side of here, that's where we put the dining room as well, like down in the corner. So no windows in the dining room either, but hopefully that's okay as well. They do have a nice bright open living room though, so there's lots of windows there. But um, yeah, I don't know. I actually really like this apartment though. I just feel like it's that like middle bit where there's no windows because it's just like this open bit right in the middle and you don't fully know what to do with it. That's a little bit off, but I do like these apartments in Spice Market especially. I just, yeah, I just really, really like them in this building at least. I think they're really nice to build in. So I keep getting questions about the red shelf that I use. I use it to clutter up different shelves or cabinets or anything else like chairs as well. You can use it for that too or ottomans. You can use that shelf for a lot of things. It is a CC piece, but I don't keep it in my builds afterwards. I just use it to place down clutter and then I take it out. So. There is no CZ in my builds, I just, it's just a CZ piece that I use, hopefully that makes sense. But if you want to download it, I have linked it in the description of my latest videos and also this one, hopefully, if I remember. <laughs> but basically it saves you from dealing with levitating items or having to use the 9 key and the 0 key way too much. And yeah, especially the levi levitating items is super annoying to me, because sometimes you may want to clutter up a chair, for example, but you uh, your item won't actually latch onto the chair because obviously it's not like it's not a proper surface so what you can do is you can use the shelf and you can raise the shelf with your mouse to the right height so the height of the chair and then place items on the shelf and then just drag the items off the shelf and it'll stick at that height and it's very handy and I have used it non-stop since I downloaded it. I don't know why it took me that long to download it because I kept getting comments on it on my videos but I was like no I don't wanna because I was a little bit lazy but <laughs> now I just use it non-stop. It's really really handy so if you love using clutter and you just like to build with a lot of clutter I definitely recommend you download that shelf and hopefully my little description or explanation of what it does helped a little bit as well but I just thought I would explain it again because I do get a lot of questions about it quite often. Also if you want to know the cheats that I use to build they're also written in the description down below so definitely remember to check the description if you got any questions about that but yeah I've definitely tried a little bit to update the descriptions in my videos so that they can be a little bit more helpful to you guys and also I have not taken pictures of the floor plan with grits on right now but I'll see if I can remember to do that before this video is over so if you are a console player and you want to make this do you guys have city living I suppose you do if you are a console player and you want to build this apartment in your game do remember that the grid pictures the floor plan pictures with a grid on will be at the very end of the video that is something I was told would help on my discord server so I've been trying to remember but I actually finished this video everything about like editing and also pictures and stuff before um, before I was told that on the Discord server, so I'll see if I can remember before this video is done and hopefully they should be there. But anyways, this is the first bedroom, so this is for the painter. That mural right there is from City Living. Basically, you find it under, I think it's under activities, yeah, I think, and then creative stuff or something, and it's just this big blue frame and then you put it on the wall and then you have to have your sim paint on it for it to be a painting, basically. <laughs> um, you can 
size down as well if you want to. I have done that with one of the other rooms. It's the purple and green one. I used the same mural in there, but it's, I just made it a little bit smaller. And yeah, you can do a lot of things with that mural, by the way. Like, there are a lot of different paintings your sins can do, and they'll be in a lot of different color schemes as well. I really like using it, and it's been such a long time since the last time I did so. When I decided to make this a bohemian apartment, I was like, I need to use that mural because I love it and it's been such a long time since the last time I used it so I was very excited about that. And I don't actually think I've ever seen that motive been painted before if I'm not mistaken. I often get the fish one. I think that's the one I'm using in the purple bedroom as well. I don't know, I just always get that one. I've never seen this one in my own game. I'm pretty sure I've seen it elsewhere but not in my own game so I was very excited to try a new one with a different color scheme on it and I think it's so so freaking pretty but um yeah your sim also doesn't need to have like a high creativity skill to do that by the way so you can just start painting right away and yeah there's a lot of different stuff you can do with that one in here we got the writer's bedroom so they have the smallest bedroom this is gonna be red and also yellow in there i think and that garage door by the way it's also from city living if i'm not mistaken yeah, i'm pretty sure it's from city living it's got the city living motives on them so probably <laughs> um I don't know, maybe the painter decided to paint on it and then give them or give uh, this person in here or the sim that lives in here, there's a garage door or something like that. Maybe the painter actually owns the apartment and the other one just rents the rooms and that's why she's painted on garage doors inside of an apartment. Don't don't question it too much, it's fine. <laughs> um, it's nice decor in my opinion, so I was excited to use that one as well because it's also been a long time since I used the garage door for anything, so. Plus I really like the motives on them too. I just love the paintings, I think they're so beautiful. But the writer's room in here is very cozy. It's very like kind of cramped together. I think I end up putting in a lot of candles too, if I'm not mistaken. I just wanted it to be very cozy and we could pretend like they sit here and and write stories while they have a glass of wine or something like that. I also thought the cork board would be fitting for this sim because they are a writer and I imagine them to have a lot of pin pals around the world or something like that. So I found the cork board and then I put a lot of these little postcards on it. The postcards are both from base game but some of them are possibly also from my first pet stuff pack if I'm not mistaken. You can find them in the catalog if you press Control shift C and then type in BB full stop and then show hidden objects and show hidden objects has to be in one word and then all these different kinds of objects will show up in your catalog and you can find those postcards in miscellaneous. I still don't fully know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> but uh, I know a lot of you corrected me on it the last time, but I don't still don't know. I just I, I don't know. <laughs> so um, yeah, but you can find it in the catalog or find them in the catalog after typing in that cheat. I love that cheat. It just adds a little bit extra clutter that you can choose between. You can also find the candy skulls and my sims figures and there's also crystals in the catalog, like all different kinds of crystals. I think rocks too, if I'm not mistaken and although also these small toy looking things I don't fully know what they are but I don't know have fun with the catalog once you type in that cheat you'll see what I mean there's a lot of stuff to choose between so yeah definitely recommend that cheat I actually just recalled that I gave them two bars I don't know why I did that because they also have a bar in the dining area I don't know maybe these sims just drink a little bit too much I'm not gonna judge but if you don't want to use one of the bars you can just swap the one in the kitchen out with some uh, island counters I think they're called or bar counters I'm not entirely sure and you can have your sins sit there and eat or something else it's completely fine I don't know I just forgot I put one in the dining room as well I just you know stuff happens maybe it was like one day I put one in the dining room and then I continued the apartment on the next day so I put another in the kitchen I don't know what my thought process was anyways they have two bathrooms in this apartment I don't remember if I showed the other one possibly I think it may be the very last thing that I decorate in this apartment if I'm not mistaken but this one is Sathy going to be shared by the three sims that live on this side of the apartment and also guests because the other bathroom it's kind of, you have to go through one of the bedrooms to get to that bathroom, but I had enough space to add another one in there, so I thought it would be fine, but yeah. The, what's it called? What is that? Who is that? I think it's the photographer, if I'm not mistaken. They have their own bathroom 
basically kind of in their bedroom, if that makes any sense. You'll see that once we get to it, it's kind of like a little square in their bedroom. So um, yeah, they do have two bathrooms overall, but one is going to be shared by a lot of sims and hopefully that's still okay. In here we got the musician's bedroom, which is going to end up being, I think, blue, green, and purple if I'm not mistaken. It was very inspired by the mural that's on the wall right now. That's also the painting that I was talking about before, by the way, with the fishes on it or the mural that I was talking about before. Um, I don't know why, but my sims always paint that one first. It's like it's their go-to or something. I don't know. They just always paint that one. I'm not complaining though because I do love the motif on it. I think it's so beautiful and I love the color combination on it as well with the blue and the purple and the green. It's very mermaid-like I would say so definitely a big fan of that motif and I thought it was very fitting for this room as well. I didn't go overboard with the purple by the way. There's just a little bit of purple here and there both with the bed which is you know you could argue that it's kind of a big thing, but you know, still, <laughs> it's just the bed sheets are purple. Then we got a little bit of purple on the chair by the computer and also a little stripe on the keyboard as well. So I remembered there was a swatch, the keyboard swatch, which had both uh, teal and blue and purple. And what's the last color? I think it's like a mint or something. And I just remembered that swatch and I was like, that's gonna be perfect for this room or that's gonna fit perfectly with that mural so I was very happy with that. So the sim that got this room was definitely very lucky when it came to picking bedrooms because they got both the biggest bedroom but also the bedroom with the most windows because this room is on a corner which means that they have windows on two walls of this room basically so there's a lot of light coming in through uh, the windows are into this room and hopefully the sim appreciates that but they were definitely very lucky compared to the writer for example because the writer got both the smallest bedroom but I also think they actually got smaller windows if I'm not mistaken so their bedroom is just very small and dark compared to this one but I don't know maybe the musician was either lucky or the writer was okay with it I don't fully know maybe the musician had a lot more stuff to deal with or make room for so they thought it would be okay. I could not decide on what kind of accident wall I wanted right, right here by the way. It took me ages. I think I go back and change it later on as well. I don't know. It was like nothing fit but I just knew that it had to be an accident wall because the mural just kind of looked a little bit out of place on a white wall so I had to figure out what kind of color I could put on it. I don't know if I included it in the footage but it does end up being some kind of darker color if I'm not mistaken. Possibly dark blue I think but um anyways in here we got the photographer's bedroom so this is gonna be blue and like a green blue kind of color as well and then yellow as you can see right here I thought the colors on both that painting and also on the garage door behind the bed right now I thought they fit very well together I also love that table by the way the bedside table I think it's freaking gorgeous and I just don't use it enough <laughs> But um, yeah, I definitely wanted to include these pictures. I think they're from Cats and Dogs, if I'm not mistaken. But they were just perfect because they look like photographies. And, you know, the sim in here being a photographer, it would make sense if they had, like, proper photographies. That's not what it's called. Photographs. <laughs> I just realized. Anyways, um, I just thought it would make more sense if they had some photographs in here as well. So I chose to um, include those ones from Cats and Dogs. So the little rectangle behind the bed is where the last uh, bathroom is going to be. And I think I'm just going to use the same items as in the other bathroom. I do furnish it on cam. I already checked. So if you want to see what that looks like, it do hang around. But other than that, we are getting into screenshots in just a second so I'm gonna wrap up this voice for now. If you like this build you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. Do let me know if you want to see more roommates apartments here on the channel and also let me know what kind of careers you want me to decorate for or different personalities as well. I would definitely look into it if you're interested in that. And if you have any other suggestions, especially for apartment builds that I can do, do also let me know in the comments section down below. I'm kind of trying to, what's it called, swap out some of the older apartments in my save file with some newer ones that I feel like are a little bit better. So that's what I'm working on with these apartments. So yeah, definitely do let me know if you have any suggestions for any apartment themes you would like to see. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!
where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me 